Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a quick video for you with pre-funding QC tips for verification of data and documents on Fannie Mae loans. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of Fannie Mae guidelines. Also, this video was issued on December 19th, 2017, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So when it comes to pre-funding quality control, lenders must implement and maintain a written pre-funding QC plan, which includes their requirements for reviewing a sample of its loans prior to closing. Now these documented procedures should include, at a minimum, the following items. The timing of their pre-funding QC reviews. At what point in the process do they select files for pre-funding review? The loan selection process, how do they select them? The reporting of the reviews, how do they report the information back to the necessary parties? And verification of data and documents. Let's take a little bit of a deeper look into data and documents. So lenders must review the file data and documents to ensure that they are present and complete so that they are actually in the file and they are complete and accurate. The pre-funding QC review should also confirm that the data used in making the underwriting decision is accurate. So does it match what the underwriter used to make the overall decision? So here's what needs to be reviewed in the file. Data entered in the automated underwriting system, the social security number of all borrowers, any employment documentation, verbal verification of employment, asset and reserve requirements, an appraisal if applicable, adequate mortgage insurance coverage if applicable. Now the only exception would be for income and assets. Those do not need to be included in a pre-funding QC review if the lender is using the DU validation service, which is day one certainty. All right, everyone, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, processors, loan officers, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time, and happy holidays.